Hi guys, so I'm here today with this colorful spring inspired makeup tutorial. This is actually a collab with the beautiful Runa from Glam by Runa. I'm going to link all her information below. But she also did a spring inspired look and it's so pretty and fun and you guys should definitely check her out. I'm going to list all her information below like I said. And to see how I got my look, just keep on watching. So I'm going to apply this Bourjois Healthy Skin foundation it this is found in the uk i believe only but i bought it on amazon and so far i really love it it has good coverage but it still has that natural look it doesn't look too cakey so i'm really liking this foundation and applying that all over and then i'm going to take my maybelline fit me concealer and apply that under my eyes and then just blend that out So I'm going to take my NYC Smooth Skin Bronzer in Sunny and I'm actually going to apply that into my crease. This is actually my favorite thing for um, transition color. I don't know, just from my skin tone, I feel like it's like the perfect shade and it's matte, which is what you want in your transition. Um, so I'm just going to apply that into my crease. And then I'm taking Wet n Wild Comfort Zone Palette and I'm going to take the darkest shade. It's like a deep dark brown it's called a definer but that's really not a color so i'm gonna apply that onto the outer corners of my eyes i'm focusing um concentrating the product onto the outer corner and then i'm just gonna take it into my crease but i'm not putting any extra product into my crease it's just whatever is sort of left on the brush i'm just bringing that into my crease but um i mainly want it to be the darkest on the outside on the outer corner so i'm just gonna do that for the out outer eye also and um, I sort of layered the color. You don't want to start off with too much product because then it's just harder to blend. So I just start off with a little bit and worked my way up to the darkness that I want, I guess. So I'm just doing that. And then I'm going to take um, a flat shader brush and just sort of make it more precise. And then I'm going to apply that into my inner corner, leaving the middle of my eyelid um, empty. And then I'm going to take this, um, I don't know what color this is, it's like a blue, brownish, metallic-y color and I'm applying that into the center. And I really love this color, it's very, very pretty, but it wasn't what I was going for. So I actually went in with another Wet n Wild palette and I took that gorgeous, like, deep teal blue color and I'm just going to apply that onto my lid. And um, I was just sort of experimenting to see what was the best way to apply this and I find that um, using a wet a damp brush or wet brush whatever um, and applying with that is the best way so just use some finishing face mist or um, eye drops just to wet your brush and the color is just gonna come on so so pretty so I'm just gonna apply that onto my lid and then I'm just going to blend out the edges so there are no harsh lines isn't that color so pretty it just becomes so pigmented when you wet the brush and I'm just going to highlight my brow bone just a little bit with um, the comfort zone palette and I'm going to apply a lot of mascara onto my um, lashes and I'm not going to be um, doing any liquid eyeliner for this look. I just want the focus to be on the, the shadows. So what I, what I actually do instead is just tight line with a really black liner and then I'm going to add that to my waterline. And tight lining with this black eyeliner makes it look like I have maybe like a really thin line of eyeliner but I really don't. And um, for just like an added sparkle, I'm taking this NYX Sparkly Crystal Liner in a gold and I'm applying that onto my bottom lash line, just the half of it. But um, I think I'm allergic to it or something because my eyes started watering. I have such sensitive eyes sometimes and look, I'm crying. So yeah, it's really pretty, but unfortunately I am allergic, so, or I just am really sensitive to it. So then um, I'm just going to take my NYX Contour Palette and just contour my face with this. It looks really orange on camera, but it's really not that orange. Um, you'll see in my pictures on Instagram, it's it's actually a really, it's a, it's a nice contour color. Um, it's not too bronzy looking. And then I'm just going to set that with the same bronzer I used for my transition. 
And I'm gonna take my Forever Nude palette from BH Cosmetics and apply the highlight color onto my highlight area. And then I'm gonna take NYX Stockholm Lip Cream, which is probably like my favorite nude ever. I'm gonna apply it onto my lips. And then I'm gonna take a NYX Lip Liner um, in Earth Tone, I believe, just to make it a little bit more brown and just line my lips with that. And that is it for the whole look. I really hope you guys enjoyed. And don't forget to check out Runa's video. And don't forget to subscribe and subscribe to her also. Bye, guys. Thank you for watching.